hello. So as you all know, tomorrow is a solar eclipse. So today I'm going to show you how to make a solar eclipse viewer. Yay! Okay, first things first. You are, you're you're gonna need a couple uh, household things like um, <clears throat> items. Um, <clears throat> like <coughs> foil. <laughs> Two rolls of toilet paper, but without the toilet, the, the rolls, the, the rolls. Duct tape, scissors, and of course, a shoe box or cereal box or something cool. Um, since I am Asian, we will be using Kirkland Signature 100 pack of green tea. <clears throat> oh god, what's next? Um, did I show you guys this yet? First step, seal off all the edges using duct tape. So what you do is you sort of roughly measure it and then cut off a piece of duct tape. So what we're doing is sealing off the edges of the box to ensure that no other light passes through. Oh. Holy shit, this turned out better than I thought. Look at these edges. Mmm, straight. Take the toilet paper roll um, the big one, because why not? Let's, let's do the big one. So, um, yeah, so, you know, just gonna... <laughs> I traced this earlier, and, um... <sighs> okay. Alright, so make sure you angle it correctly. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna face the sun, um, the sun, and oh crap, there's another one. Next step, uh, you put in the other toilet paper, which totally fits because you traced it correctly and you weren't drinking. start looking like this. Now, you're going to attach the aluminum foil. Um, since the sun is going to be going through this tube, we're going to cover only the side with aluminum foil. Ugh. Why is it so wrinkly? When simmer and think about itself, I've already prepared one earlier. This is what the finished product should look like. Okay, the final step is poking the hole through the aluminum foil. Just a small one and just one. So let's do that right now. Let's go test it out. 